I'm not joking when I say that you guys truly are making one of my biggest dreams come true. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I am living my dream right now. What's going on guys? A Carson here and today I'm going to be talking about corners. What's going on guys? A Carson here and today we are reviewing Reinhardt. Right, what's going on guys? A Carson here and today we're going to be reviewing a uh, Platinum Orissa. Hey everyone, Aaron here and today I want to talk to you about the mindset that you should have when playing Overwatch. What's going on guys? Coach Aaron here and today I'm giving you the ultimate Anna guide. What's going on guys? Coach Aaron here and today we're going to be talking about lost streaks and mentality. She's dead! She's dead! She's dead! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! So you want to be a content creator, or maybe you already are one and you saw this video and you thought it looked interesting. You wanted to see what a realistic journey looks like from zero subscribers to 500. You're tired of seeing all these, oh, here's how to get 500 subscribers quick. You just want to see what it actually takes and what a true story looks like. Well, that's me. You can see right now down below 505 subscribers currently at the time of recording. And in order to show you what this journey was like, I want to look back at some of my old videos and figure out some of the biggest lessons I learned as I was making them and maybe give you some tips along the way. Now, the first lesson that I learned was that you just need to start. This first video that I ever uploaded to my channel encapsulates that almost perfectly because it's really, really bad. I didn't edit it. The audio was bad. I was awkward. Just kind of listen to the intro. You'll see how bad it is. All right. What's going on, Don? <laughs> um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this, this time it works. It's going to be probably a little bit faster. But the good thing is I have already looked through. Uh, did you hear what I said? I said, hopefully this time it works. I didn't know what I was doing at all. And I, I think that's the important part that this, the important thing I learned from this is that your first video is going to suck. It's going to be bad and that's okay. It's not going to get views and it's okay. You have to start somewhere. And that is lesson one. Just start doing it. When I first started my YouTube career, I didn't want to be a YouTuber. I just wanted to help people rank up in Overwatch. In fact, I actually was pursuing a different dream of mine, which was to be become a professional Overwatch League player. That's insane. Why would I want to do that? That's that's just ridiculous. Now that all changed when I uploaded this video. This was the first video that I ever uploaded that did really, really well in terms of its viewing numbers. And the reason that I bring this up is because this video, as well as a couple of other videos that I uploaded that did e even better in terms of views, was just a really high point of my journey so far. The amount of joy that I felt during this time was just insane. And I really do think that there's nothing wrong wrong with enjoying the success of your work. However, this is where I'm going to transition to our lesson two. Lesson two is that it's not bad to enjoy your success, but you have to not get attached to those views because you have to understand that when you're first starting, your views aren't always going to be there. In fact, some of my recent videos aren't even performing that well. So one of them has like 30 views and it's just going to happen. It's okay. When you're starting out, you're learning, you're trying to experiment, you're figuring out what you want to upload, who you are, what your style is, and that is okay. So lesson two is just don't get caught up on your views. After I came off that really, really good high, I started to experiment with different types of content. And because of that, my views started to drop. If we look, look, 93, 270, 87, 91, 82. Now this video we'll get to because this video did not have the views that it does right now. But I started to worry about my views because I just came off this really high, great moment where I was getting these views and getting these comments and subscribers and people joining my Discord to just nothing my confidence just ran out. I didn't know what to do. There was many nights where I was frustrated and I was stressed out like crazy. I wanted to give up, but I decided to keep moving forward. And this is my next lesson. You just have to trust the process. When you start, not every video is going to do well. And the perfect example of trusting the process is this how to play dive tanks video. This video did not do well at all when I first uploaded it. However, recently, like as as in a couple months ago, this video went from like a couple hundred views to over 6,000 out of nowhere. You have to trust
that's the process not every video is gonna do well sometimes it just takes a little bit and now sometimes your video is just bad and it's not gonna get views and that's okay we all make bad videos i have a ton of them on my channel but you have to trust the process now this down point in my career lasted for quite some time i continued to upload for several several months and i had some videos that did okay but i was still very very discouraged my views weren't coming in i was still experimenting i didn't really know who i was as a content creator and on top of that the game that i was playing as my main focus for content just wasn't fulfilling me anymore and i remember one night i just kind of said you know what i'm gonna sit down hit the record button and i'm just gonna talk and that was this video hello friends I just wanted to sit down and just have a little talk with you guys. I've been doing a lot of thinking about who I am and what I want to do, and I uh, so I want you guys to just get a, get to know me a little bit. I don't really know, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about. It. Now, I left that intro in because I wanted to show that this was not an easy video for me to make. I actually intended on putting it just in my Discord and talking to the community members that were active and just saying, hey, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to do with my channel anymore. And so I recorded this video and I got really good feedback. And essentially the point of the video was that I don't want to just be this guy on YouTube that's known as this Overwatch coach. I had a message that I wanted to share and I wanted to put that out there and I have more passions. I'm more than just just someone who plays Overwatch. And when I uploaded this, this was a really big turning point for my career because now whether the views are there or not, I'm having a blast because I'm making content that I'm passionate about. And I think this leads me into my next lesson. Don't box yourself in. I know this might go against what a lot of content creators say, and you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. They're bigger content creators than I am, so maybe I'm wrong, but this is what I learned. You are not just one niche. Remember, it's called YouTube because the YouTube channel is about you. You are the niche. So whatever you want to make content about, go out and make it valuable and interesting to someone else. And this was a massive lesson because now I'm making content and I am having way more fun. I am way more invested and way more passionate about it. Now I continue to upload and shortly after about looks like about a month after I made this uh, be who you are video, I hit my 500th subscriber. You heard Heard a very very brief version of everything that happened this has been about i think it was like eight to ten months of working non-stop and on top of that when i'm not actually working i was looking at videos on how to edit and how to tell stories and what makes a good youtube video and i was constantly trying things and experimenting i'm still experimenting i'm still growing as a content creator but i just wanted to share the story with you guys so that if you guys are starting a youtube channel that you guys just don't give up just keep going start somewhere upload they're gonna be bad keep going your views are gonna go up and down it's okay just keep going if it's something that you're passionate about and don't box yourself in just be yourself now this is my 500 subscriber special and this is where i want to transition if you're here because you wanted to learn the lessons you are free to go and click off this video but for those of you who have been supporting me this is for you and me to just sit down and talk i just want to say a huge thank you i really can not thank you guys enough i really would not be sitting here making this 500 you know subscriber video if it wasn't for you guys and for you guys supporting me there are some members in my community that are a little bit more active than others now there might be members of the community that aren't active and that i don't see and if that's the case please go leave a comment on this video or in my discord or wherever you are and just say hi because i want to meet you i want to talk to you guys but i would like to take this time to shout out a couple of people that have been supporting me for quite some time and the first person that i want to shout out is my beautiful girlfriend janelle she has been my everything during this journey she has been my rock my pillar the place that when i am feeling discouraged and down and i don't know what to do i go to her she's the one that looks me in the eyes and just says baby you got this keep going keep moving forward she's the one that tells me i believe in you i was sitting in a red robin with her and i said babe i think this is what i want to do but i'm terrified to start because i don't know if it's going to work out and it's a risk and what if i waste my time what if it doesn't work out and i end up broke and poor on the side of the street because i'm sitting here doing youtube and she looks at me and she says babe if you want to do it then you should do it and i will never forget that so before i say thank you to anybody else she comes first and if that makes me buy 
biased. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. She's the love of my life. With that said, I want to shout out some other people. First, I have some roommates that have been supporting me. Uh, Eagle Wing. He's been a good friend of mine for a very, very long time since we were kids. And he's been supporting me like crazy during this journey. He's also been an advisor to me, counseling me when I need it, advising me on how to move forward. And one of the biggest things that he constantly tells me is to just enjoy myself and have fun and make the content that I'm passionate about. I also want to shout out Nerdy Knack. He's another roommate of mine. He's also been a massive massive supporter of me he's in fact he made like a third of my thumbnails i didn't make this thumbnail i didn't make this thumbnail or this thumbnail or this thumbnail you can tell the ones i make they're all the crappy ones this thumbnail which you can't see this thumbnail i didn't make this thumbnail the alari one i didn't make this five tips i didn't make for a while there he was making all of my thumbnails but on top of that he's just been an advisor to me as well one of the things that he told me when i first started was he said you should not name your channel a carson overwatch because you don't want to stick yourself in a box and at the time i was like mom well, i'm making overwatch content so i'm sure it's fine but i ended up listening and i'm glad that i did because here i am and i'm not just making content about overwatch and so i just want to shout those two out specifically as some of the roommates that have been really really supportive of me now there's another in real life friend of mine that goes by winner unlikely he's also been really supportive of me and helping me along this journey and i want to thank you and then finally to the discord mem members i'm going to pull up the list so i don't forget any of you but there are some people that have been with me since like a hundred subscribers and it's just insane luffy man i want to say a thank you to you mercury i want to thank you leika smishkin i'm gonna pronounce that wrong i'll put it up on screen but we call him bob because it's easier to pronounce <laughs> shadow i want to thank you primomar i want to thank you kira nathan i want to thank you gasan the bomb or i call him g i want to thank you tishman i want to thank you willy fat i want to thank you bd B, I want to thank you. I really just want to thank you guys because you guys have been supporting me for a long time. Now, some of the names I mentioned are new, but they stuck around and they're still active to this day. And I just, guys, I can't thank you enough. It's so fun to wake up and see messages about you guys arguing about something stupid in the Discord. It's, I mean, yeah, sometimes they're stressful, but for the most part, it's fun. You guys having conversations. And I remember one time I asked you guys for your biggest life lesson that you ever learned. And it started this really, really personal, in depth conversation. Really productive conversation you guys have been supporting me for so so long and i am so excited to see where this community goes because yes i'm a gaming channel yes i like to play games but it's not just that our community is about growing together encouraging each other to become better people to follow our dreams and if it wasn't for you guys this wouldn't have been possible so thank you from the bottom of my heart and i'm so grateful that you guys are patient with me as i'm learning how to make better content and as i've gone through changes and things have developed i'm so grateful thank you so much and i'm excited to see what comes next and i'm excited to see when we hit that a thousand subscriber mark and i make another one of these videos and then we hit 1500 and then 10k or 5k and then 10k and then it just keeps growing because we're gonna grow and grow and grow because i don't plan on stopping thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you i'll talk to you guys later hey carson out